this is problem 1.31 it says determine the forces in the six members of the truss shown here so for this problem we will start analyzing each one of these joints there and if i draw the free body diagram of joint c i'll have this one member force going this way one member force going this way and we'll always assume these members forces to be going away from the joint assuming them to be under tension okay so i'll call this force as fbc and this one as fcd so this is fbc here fcd there and this force w downwards and this angle right here is 45 degree because all the lengths are same so if i do the force balance in x and y direction your x direction gives you fbc plus fcd divided by square root 2 equals to 0 and your y direction gives you fcd divided by square root 2 plus w equals to 0 so from the second equation we get fcd equals to minus w square root 2 and if i substitute back fcd into this equation i can get the value of fbc equals to w so now this is known to us fcd is minus w square root 2 and this one is w here now if you look at uh, the other joints here if i focus on this there will be three member forces one goes here other one goes there and third one goes there now from the force balance we can get only two equations but since this force is already known so we are going to have only two unknowns at that point so if i draw the free body diagram of joint d we will have f b d which is this one and f d e which is this here so it goes backwards f d e and a force which is f c d equals to minus w square root 2 this angle again is 45 degree so if i do x force balance i will get f c d divided by square root 2 because of cos 45 minus f d e equals to 0 and y force balance will give us f b d plus f c d divided by square root 2 equals to 0 so from the first equation if i substitute uh, fcd equals to minus w square root 2 then your fde comes out to be minus w and from this equation again if i substitute minus w square root 2 there your fbd is equals to w so now your fbd which is this one is w and fde which is this one right here is minus w now the next joint we can analyze is joint b so for joint P, we are going to have FAB pointing this way, point FBE this way, FBD right here, and FBC right there. So in the free body diagram, we are going to have this, this, and this. So this is FBC, this is FAB, this is FBE, and this one is FBD. So if I write the x equation in this case, we have FBC minus FAB minus FBE square root 2 equals to 0, square root 2 again because of that 45 degree angle. And in the y direction, we get FBE divided by square root 2 plus FBD equals to 0. The value of FBD is W. So from the second equation, we get f b e equals to minus w square root 2 and f b c is w here and f b e here is minus w square root 2 so if i substitute those into the first equation i get f a b equals to 2 w 